India's first vertical sea lift bridge very fittingly in Rameshwaram and uh, when you see those images just the sheer beauty of what you see infrastructurally and otherwise perhaps it takes a lot for us to really understand what it takes to build this kind of a bridge because mind you this is bang in the middle of the ocean and yet you've seen in record time this kind of a bridge being built there's so much history and I'd like to bring in Pramod also on this Pramod there's so much history attached to the Pamban bridge for the locals of Rameshwaram for anyone visiting there one of the most iconic locations they'll show you is the Pamban bridge they'll show how right up to Dhanush Kodi there was a railway line of course completely submerged as a result of cyclone storms that have hit the area and that's why you know uh, a Pamban bridge 2.0 means so much to the people of Rameshwaram It surely is, Akshita. In fact, the old bridge that actually was a lifeline for this particular Rameshwaram is the one that you see in the center, the one that is built built in the uh, kind of the silver paint over there. And this also already was an engineering marvel because it used some kind of system called as a Scherzer system through which the center part was uh, lifted up through which the boats can leave. However, it say, stayed as the only way of connecting Rameshwaram, which is actually an island with mainland Ramnadapuram. And during the British era, there was actually a plan to connect from Rameshwaram, Dhanushkodi, just like you mentioned through Sri Lanka, through a bunch of streamers. But unfortunately, in 1964, this area, just like usual, got battered by a tidal wave and it got completely, Dhanuskodi got completely uh, havocked and what remained was this particular bridge alone. So that's the reason it was decided to go ahead and construct a proper, like, land kind of bridge, concrete bridge that you see on the left side. But right now, knowing that that alone is not enough to connect this particular part, in 2019, Prime Minister Modi laid the foundation stone for the new bridge. However, it, it could have been even constructed a little earlier, than, if not... COVID had not interfered because of that only we saw a little bit of delay but right now you see right in front of us how this bridge is working and in fact if you could see a little closer you will know there is one track but this article area has actually kind of like space for another track to be built as well so to and fro movement can also be easily done and what they have learned a lot of lessons from the older bridge that is where you see like no maximum 10 kilometer speed you have to wait until the bridge is raised or lowered but the new one it's completely reduced the time period thanks to electrical and mechanical uh, also uh, uh, various technologies that have been used in this part and through that only we have achieved it and this is why it's very important because it's, it might look very simple but you see how one island is being connected by three parts yes the center part will be slowly removed but this particular new bridge is going to become the lifeline because Rameshwaram is a pilgrim spot where thousands and thousands of people pour in day after day to Ramnath Swami to like uh, various locations for the significance it holds in uh, with Ramayana Akshita. Very, very true. You know, it's a, uh, a location where you see scores of devotees, especially on the occasion of Ram Navami. And let's just quickly touch upon that as well, Pramod. The fact that Prime Minister Modi, after inaugurating the Pamban Bridge, uh, and he's expected to be there any time now, he's just touched down in an area called Mantapam, which is very, very close to Rameshwaram, just in fact about 20 to 30 kilometers away from Rameshwaram. So from there, he's making his way to essentially the Pamban Bridge, which is the connecting point. So once you reach that area, it means you're entering into Rameshwaram. So from there, another 10, 15 minute drive, and you'll reach also the very famous Ramanatha Swami Temple, which is where the Prime Minister will also be headed on the occasion of Ram Naomi. The last time he was there, Pramod, was during the Pran Pratishta, when Prime Minister Modi had, in fact, visited several of the temples linked to Lord Ram. It absolutely is. In fact, uh, Akshita, Allah, let me also show you the kind of security that has been provided on the sea over here because this is an island play space. You see, like, even every uh, 20 meters, there is a person who's standing on the shore on the, on the side over there. You see, those are the Coast Guard ships. You have the speed boats. Even, I even saw a kind of a hovercraft over there. And just like you mentioned, it is a very important day. And the Prime Minister is visiting after Pran Patisha, the second time to Ram, Ram Nadav Swami Temple. And what, uh, like, every year, what happens is that during the moment of Ram Navami, the day, there is actually a kind of a special puja by which the rain of the sun will fall on the uh, the uh, forehead of the, uh, the idol inside the temple. So that is very important. So that's the reason all preparations have been done. In fact, as we speak, the Prime Minister has left the Mandapam helipad and he's on his way towards the spot and he's waving to the people we, we saw over here. Such is the kind of preparation that's been done to the spot. I'm just showing the sea because this spot, it's an amazing spot. You see how quiet the sea is. It can be totally opposite when it comes to a cyclonic storm, completely ravaging the spot. But today it has decided to be very quiet with all security measures taken to make sure that everything goes as per schedule and the Prime Minister is expected to reach probably another three minutes or so, Akshita. Okay.
So in a few moments from now, Prime Minister Modi expected where Pramod is, right by the Pambun Bridge. It's going to be, of course, and the Prime Minister will get that perfect bird's eye view of the entire bridge. This is, of course, on the road where you see a, a, a lot of movement, usually a lot of traffic movement that's been stalled right now for security reasons. So from that particular bridge, a small setup has been made for the Prime Minister to get a complete view of the engineering marvel that's been accomplished uh, right there at uh, the Pamban Bridge being constructed. So what you see in the extreme left is where road transport is allowed. Right in the middle is the old Pamban Bridge that was operational for so many decades. But unfortunately, for the last many years, because of safety concerns, had to be completely shut off. But the government immediately prioritized ensuring that the Pamban Bridge, a new one, was built, which is the one you see there as the third most uh, uh, bridge that's been constructed. This is a vertical sea lift bridge, so it will ensure that not just rail can uh, take place and trains can move back and forth, but you can also see a lot of activity on the seas going on uninterrupted, uh, not disrupted at all. And that's the beauty of what's been accomplished here uh, with the Pamban Bridge coming up right now. Uh, the locals of Rameshwaram, of course, have been waiting for this bridge to be inaugurated because, as Pramod said, there are scores of devotees who come to Rameshwaram every single day to uh, visit the Ramanatha Swami temple. So this is a beautiful coastal town, uh, scenic, but also extremely important because of uh, you know, the devotion that's attached to it and the fact that so many people go there for the Ragni Tirtam and then to also offer prayers at the Ramanatha Swami temple. For the Prime Minister, Pramod, uh, this visit not just crucial because it highlights, of course, the fact that the government has prioritized construction of the Pamban Bridge, but on the occasion of Ram Navmi to be there on such an auspicious day for even the people of Rameshwaram. Wait, wait, come here. It sure is, Akshita. In fact, let me just show you how close we are to the spot over here. This is a rail track and we are just next to it. We are waiting for this particular uh, event actually and in just two, three minutes, the Prime Minister is going to reach the spot. Over there, on that bridge, that is a place where you see the, uh, uh, the uh, sort of kind of uh, uh, shelter that's been placed where the Prime Minister will stay and you see all three bridges. But this is a train track where we are going to be very close and we are also going to get a nice view of what's going to happen over here. And we already have one train waiting over there, Rakshita. In just a matter of minutes, the Prime Minister is going to approach and then that train that has already started from Tambaram is going to reach Rameshwaram, post which the, uh, like, you know, the uh, mechanical movement will be done. We are also eagerly waiting to watch this. Thankfully, the, the uh, climate is very, uh, very, very much in favor of us and the sea is also pretty calm. It's very rare to see Rameshwaram see this calm, but it is very calm and in, in a matter of minutes the Prime Minister will reach and he's actually on his way. He's like uh, uh, waving to the people and the Komwa is slowing, uh, moving a bit slow because people in Rameshwaram, Mandapam, Akka Madam and Dangaj Madam, everybody are waiting to see the uh, Prime Minister and that's the reason the convoy is moving a little bit and that's the reason it's taking a bit more time but we are very close to see what's going to happen a historical moment and we are going to give you a bird's eye view a very close view of what's happening here Rachita. Uh, do stay on with us uh, as Pramod tells us right now the Prime Minister is currently headed to uh, that location where he's inaugurating the Pamban Bridge right now there's a mini road show of sorts that's happening from Mandapam to Rameshwaram it's about a 20-30 kilometer stretch and along this area scores of people have gathered to catch a glimpse of Prime Minister Modi so he's kind of indulging them as well so uh, a mini road show of sorts not planned but the Prime Minister reportedly is waving to the crowds there so we'll get you those images uh, as soon as it's in our rolling coverage, our special coverage on the Prime Minister's visit to Rameshwaram, extremely crucial because of the beautiful Pamban Bridge that he's set to inaugurate and the fact that he's there for Ram Navmi.